Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing Lash Slick by Glossier. This is their mascara. They've had like a huge push, like, ooh, new mess. Well, I don't know if this is new. I think they've had this mascara for a while, just like a kind of like a relaunch, reintroduce ourselves. So I'm going to review and demo this product. So if you want to see what it looks like and how I use it, keep watching. All right, so before we get into the review, First, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any great makeup, skincare, hair care, beauty videos that I make for this channel. Also, hit the notification bell, that way you'll be first to know when I go live or when I post a new video. So, let's get into the review demo. So, before I use any mascara, the first thing I do is curl my lashes. This is a cageless eyelash curler from Sephora. If you have not invested in one, you need to. Um, a lot of people are scared to close their, myself included, to close their lids in these curlers. And if you get a cageless one, it just makes it that much more idiot proof. Because that is one of the worst feelings in the world is to close your uh, lid in the curler. Like, it's traumatizing. That's why so many people stay away from them. But I'm telling you, this curler you guys see, I'm using it single-handedly. I'm talking to you. And nothing has gotten caught in anything and I'm able to get the curly beautiful lashes that I were not was not born with unfortunately so but we're getting into the lashes today okay so um, I like a lot of things from Glossier uh, but most of it has been skincare so I've been trying to dive more into their makeup and um, I started with the mascara recently I mean I did try the highlighter which I love and the cloud paints no not a cloud paint sky wash the eyeshadow the liquid eyeshadow i tried that so i think it's cute but let's get into this so the lash stick has a plastic kind of tapered little cone mascara and um wand and one thing that i like is that it's really easy for people with small eyes to get into the lashes so you see that it's very um easy for you to really get to that base and to drag it up um it's a really beautiful black shiny color um i don't think there are other colors but it's really beautiful black shade like it just makes your lashes look like they um got a deep conditioner and like a protein shine treatment or something it's really really cute Ugh. so one thing I love is you could keep going and going and going with the stuff and you don't get egregious clumps. You do get some clumping, but it's not outrageous. Um, it's pretty, it's fluffy, it looks lightweight, and um, it's easy to use the wand on the eye that is not your dominant eye. So I'm a righty, so usually this eye is the eye that gives me problems but um it's not horrible so as you guys can see i'm going back in multiple times my personal preference is to lacquer it up this mascara is definitely a lengthening mascara so unfortunately i destroyed my eyelashes by getting fake ones individuals so i have some little shorties who are not really full grown to everybody else and I prefer volumizing mascara, but I just want you to look real quick. I'm gonna do a far away. Do you see this eye? How amazing it looks, and then this eye, and then I'm gonna do a close up so you guys can see. Hold on, let her focus. Okay, do you see these lashes? Like those are just beautiful, everyday, amazing lashes. And as you can see, compared to the eye with no mascara, they're darker, they're more defined. That black color is really giving me the little cat eye look. And it looks so pretty and there's so it doesn't look fake and chunky you don't see a whole bunch of black stuff dripping down here and um, I really like it so this is not really a glam kind of look when it comes to mascara it's definitely a more natural vibe which is kind of cool sometimes you know every day is not a glamazon full beat day and you don't necessarily always want to make it look like you have false lashes like sometimes you just want it to be your lashes um but a little longer so that way they stand out more you know and that is what this mascara does 
um but if you do need volume like i know a lot of people now were struggling with the we messed up our brows using individuals so you might if you need volume i would say either layer use a volumizing like what is her name use l'oreal voluminous first and then come in with this second but um this can't be your only mascara if you do need volume um sorry y'all i can't talk and put mascara oil on the bottom lash line but this stuff is cute you can layer it up and like i said it doesn't get crazy clumpy it doesn't start transferring all willy-nilly um it definitely gives you nice beautiful lashes and i feel like especially um there's so many different mascara brands and it's just like is this one gonna be good does it look right does it look natural does it look pretty um is it gonna look like a clumpy spidery mess because nobody wants lashes that look like a clumpy spidery mess and you are just gonna get such beautiful lightweight um black nice lashes with this lash stick so i'm a little sad that it doesn't do volume also but um yeah my tan line is crazy y'all but um i'm really sad that it's only length and not volume but i'm gonna take it in terms of what i look for every day when i am i'm not gonna lie my main makeup objective now is to just is my makeup noticeable that you can see the difference on the zoom call like that's how i gauge my makeup now and with the lash stick it is going to make your lashes bolder, stand out more. You're going to see them. They're fluttered out. It gives them the length and the color you need to make them really my lashes but better. And it doesn't get crunchy. It's lightweight. doesn't feel heavy. doesn't have any funky smells or anything. And it looks real, like a really natural, beautiful mascara. So um, this is definitely in the rotation. And I love it. Lash Stick Glossier. Like I said, I wish it gave me that little volumizing factor. But I feel like this is their only mascara right now. So you know, they might the next one coming up might be volumizing. Mix the two together. Or it might do volume and length. Who knows? But um, for right now, Lash Slick is cool. And I'll definitely be keeping her in the collection. So thank you so much for watching this review. And I will see you next time.